Good morrow, scholars. Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver, the Avatar Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. I have a special surprise for you while I was grinding off screen. Um, something interesting happened. And deposit. As you can see, the egg hatched into another Caterpie. <laughs> it has extra sensory. Oh, and I named it Iki from uh, y you know. You know, I'm going to save you for later, just in case. Box one, deposit. All right, and I decided to add Sokka to the party, since it's a water type. I keep forgetting just move Pokemon. It's a lot easier. All right. Uh, let's see. Who can I add? Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and add Articuno to the party. I know no one's going to like that, but hey, it's my Nuzlocke and I can cry if I want to. Alrighty. So what we're going to do is head over here to uh, Ilex Forest. Forest. There we go. And Oh, by the way, I'm recording this before I record an episode of uh, Resident Evil. So I'm not going to make any references to that. Let's see. I figured I'd go ahead and go... Ah, yeah. oh, you wouldn't have been too bad. Figured I'd go ahead and try and uh, level up Sokka. Aw, oh, man. I'm itchy today. I don't know why. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're switching out. Quit that. Who wants this experience? Why not? I feel like UA should be able to handle it. Pressure, 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 pressure. It should only have hardened and scratch, I think. But it also has speed boost, so there's that. Yikes. Both attacks are super effective, aren't they? Let's see, if you get a crit, you shouldn't knock her out. That is to say. Okay, never mind, we're good. Alright, now I'm not going to make this episode super long, I don't think. So I'm about to end uh, or pause the recording here real quick. Ah, oh, man. I just wanted to get to this part with the guy. Oh man, my boss is going to be angry. The far-fetched, far-fetched. There's a boss of mine that reminds everybody of her. Anyway, that cuts trees for charcoal. Took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch has sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, they will face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? All right. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the far-fetched off screen. Okay, I got them both. Took a little longer than I thought. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Uh-oh. You look alike. Ah, my far and fetched. That's like me naming Pokemon. You found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I think? I know, here, take this. Hidden machine number one. Back it. I don't know. That's cut. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. All right, now. Bibberl should be able to use cut, but I don't know for sure. Put it up. Oh, did you guys ever read the Pokemon manga? Apparently, the reason these are CDs is you put them in a CD player and you have the Pokemon listen to it with headphones and it teaches them like a, uh, what do you call it? One of those, you know, you, you play the tapes uh, at night while you're sleeping. And anyway, I just thought it was funny. All right. You get stab on it, so 
that's why we'll teach you cut. All right, let's try and get out of this forest without any difficulties. Good job, Everal. Okay, now that's supposed to be Celebi in there. Or once you get in there. Oh man. You can encounter a Celebi. Dang it. And it's not even worth like switching out. At least it's slow enough I can just run away. Alright, let's see. I feel like he gives you something. Oh well. I'll come back off screen. Hello. Oh, uh, I didn't show you guys because uh, it was off screen and I didn't feel like it. Uh, her or someone that looks just like her showed up when we were given the egg and left the Pokemart. Kimono girl, kimono girl lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark. Elix Forest. What? You remember me from Violet City? See? You must be imagining. Anyway. Oh, okay. Will you show me how to get out of this? Yes. Yes. Uh, are you a ghost? You will. Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know get out of here? Bibberl, show me the way. Wow. Are you going to show me how to get out? You're such a smart Pokemon. What about me? See you. Bibberl! Don't you run off like that again. Especially with strange women. <laughs> Shady needs that to evolve Hapini. Or... Chansey, whichever it is, I forget. And here I am with it. All right. Well, I was gonna end the epi or end the episode, end the recording here real quick. But we should be getting out here pretty soon. Yeah. See. And there's a new route coming up. Oh, look, another butterfree. There's like four of them now. Oh, honey, are you making Pokedex? You must be making Pokedex. I'm trying to use this TM for a change. Twelve. What was that one again? It's Taunt. Okay. Target Pokemon has damaged your Pokemon for a while. Let's see what it is. Son of a... I don't curse. Alright, let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and leave Bibber. Oh, crud. How many times am I going to run into one of these? Okay, I can't catch you. I was really ho Oh no. Mhm. <laughs> All right, tell you what. I'll come back once I found a Pokémon I can catch or have been through every Pokémon on the route. Okay, so it turns out you can, like my brother said in an earlier episode, in fact, catch a Pokemon that will gain a typing uh, later on if you evolve it. And seeing as how Shelgon here evolves into uh, Salamence, which is a dragon flying type that falls under one of them. So we're going to try and catch it. Rage. Oh, crud. Rage is building. Okay. We're going to go out into Yong Chen. I'm going to paralyze you. Do you guys remember the song Paralyzed from uh, Big Time Rush? Oh, that was decent damage. Um, yikes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to keep using Rage in order for it to go through. What's up, Iggy? Iggy's just starting to wake up. Um, okay, I guess let's go back out into Saka. And uh, we'll cut. Okay. Sure. Because even if I get a crit, it shouldn't knock you out.
That might be good enough. Yeah, we're gonna switch out. Who could I go on to? Uh, let's go ahead to Ferric. He's my highest leveled Pokemon. Alright, I'll probably keep Shelgon in the uh, in the PC for at least a little while. Um, and try and level him up later on when I get to stronger Pokemon. That's, that is assuming I catch him, of course. But I've got like... What, 39 Pokeballs? 38 now? I think I should be good. Yeah! Thank you, Young Chen. Woo! Alright, let's see what you've got. Shellgun's data was added to the Pokedex. The Endurance Pokemon. 3 feet, 7 inches tall, 243 pounds. That's about as much as I weigh. I weigh. I miss I weigh. <laughs> anyway. It surrounds its body in an iron hard shell to accumulate enough power to evolve. I shall name you after Zuko's dragon. Spoiler alert. Now, it should be Druk if I remember correctly. I should name you Drax. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I'll come back once I get to um, Goldenrod City. Okay, hey, how's it going? Um, Alright, so I ran into a problem and I had to restart again, but I accidentally caused this cutscene and I didn't feel it was worth it the second time around. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and wait. Hang on, hang on. Here's what we're going to do. And it's kind of cheating, but all right. Um, what I want to do is deposit these two right here. Oh, also, I had I know the first one was a girl, and this one's a boy. I'm pretty sure. Um, it was one of the things I had to redo and I didn't feel like waiting because it took like 10 minutes to find this one anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave those two here in the Pokemon daycare and I'll come back for them one day unlike Ash yes now I'm pretty sure it's the two of them that can be Stored at the same time. If not, uh, Druk is definitely going to be my first choice. Come back for a later. We can raise two of your Pokemon. Would you like to raise another? Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and store the boulder. You're the boulder. <laughs> okay. And then next, we're going to go ahead and um, pick up. Wait, no. Move. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. I, again, I realize that nobody's really interested in watching a Nuzlocke with a Legendary in the party. But, uh, let's see. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Goldenrod. And we'll see if there's anything I can do here right off the bat. Let's see, is there anything over here? Department store? That can wait. Yikes. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, I'll come back again. Sorry. Okay, back again. Let's take a look at the gym and see why she's standing there. The gym leader, Whitney, went flying by saying, I have to go get a radio card. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's a sign that we're supposed to go to the radio tower, which isn't over this way, it's over this way. And we'll head over there, and I feel like I'm going to go ahead and end the episode after I get a radio card. If I get one here real quick. Let's see. Hello. 
Whitney, hi, my name is Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win a radio card, so I came to get one. But this quiz is so hard. Oh, gosh. Here, I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, just cut in front of you. We have a special quiz campaign. Answer five questions correctly in a radio card. When you learn from you, listen to the radio. Anytime, anywhere. Would you like to try a quiz? Yes. First question. Can you check the town map with your Poke Gear? Yes. All right, let's see if I can get this on my first try. Nidorina can only be female. True. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. No. He's apricorns. Apricorns. Fourth question. It's impossible to use a TM on a magic carp. No. What? I could have sworn it gets at least one. I don't remember that being the question they asked, though. That's a weird thing. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Maybe it's just the later gens and uh, it's been so long. I don't know. It's the last I've seen my son. Anyway. Let's fly through this. Yeah. Uh, just don't dwell on it, Ben. Don't dwell on it. Fourth question. Wait. Oh my gosh. Wait, why did I do it again? I'm stupid. You know what? I'm going to... It took me five tries. No, I'm joking. It was the next one. Of course it was. The next one was uh, Professor Oak's radio show with Marie rather than Mary. Bingo, you got it. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't know. Here's your prize. I read you hard. Bowling can now listen to radio with the monkey gear. Beep that, Whitney. He, 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 he. Wow, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely what? Uh, oops, time to get back to the gym. All right, I want to see if I can get to another route real quick. And catch a Pokemon, and then I'll end the episode. Although we're nearing like 18 minutes already. Yeah, I can. Alright. Can I... Dang it! That's how they get ya. Da 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 da. I forget to do voices. I don't know why. I've been doing this for a while. Okay. Well, at least we can see Bibberol in action. Or, excuse me, Sokka. Oh, I taught it headbutt off screen when I had to restart everything. Oh, uh, that was a pain in the butt. See, headbutt, never mind. At least he's got a decent amount of HP. Never mind. That went away fast, huh? Well, he levels up decently so far. Ah, <laughs> Letty Bo. Keep battling. I'm pretty sure Headbutt's base 70, right? Hmm. I really need to end this episode so I can play uh, Resident Evil some. There we go. See? That's not too bad. His defense is kind of low though. Chingling! Uh, I guess I'll keep battling. Headbutt. Ah, oh, crud. Well, I got a high special defense. But I'm not going to risk a crit. So let's go out into Varric. Hey, hey, hey. Take that. Pursuit. I don't know why, though. Uh oh. It's a psychic type? Hmm. The more you know. 
Poor thing. Wow, that would have been a lot of experience if only Sokka could take more hits. <laughs> Poor Sokka. Okay, you know what? I'm going to save the Pokemon uh, catching for the next episode. Like I said, I really need to hurry up and record uh, Resident Evil. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to start saving so I don't forget. Wow, I'm already putting in eight hours on this. All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you want me to get rid of Yue, if you don't want me to get rid of Yue, uh, if you think I shouldn't have caught uh, a male Shelgon, if you think I shouldn't have caught a Shelgon at all. You know, just let me know. And until next time, goodbye, everybody.